Hi, I'm Ward Blackwell. Welcome to Front Street 411. You know, right now in the middle of winter, I'll bet a seven-day Hawaiian cruise sounds pretty good to a lot of you. Well, all it takes to have a chance to win one is to recruit some new members. ADA's new Recruit for Rewards membership referral program gives all member dentists a chance to participate as recruiters and earn entries for quarterly drawings for great prizes, including a seven-day Hawaiian cruise. The contest runs through August 31st this year, and we have all the tools you need to start recruiting. For details, just go to the website, the PDA Go app, or contact our membership department. Speaking of the PDA Go app, did you know that there is a new desktop version that includes all the same features? We know a lot of you have found it very handy having all those PDA resources in the palm of your hand wherever you need. But we also realize that on some occasions, it's nice not having to switch devices when you're using a larger screen. It's nice being able to use a full keyboard to type. And for some of us, it's nice to be able to leave these in your pocket. Those of you who've been checking your PDA Go app have probably noticed that the registration has opened for the 2024 Pennsylvania Dental Meeting. This year offers something for everyone. Want a network? There's three nights of social activities, including events with the PFA, ACD, and ICD. Want great CE? You can get up to 11 credits from sought after speakers. Want stuff to do in your free time? How about fly fishing, ax throwing, indoor water parks, and gaming, to name a few? And of course, you can get an update on all things PDA and help celebrate this year's award winners. It all takes place at a Four Diamond Resort in the Poconos, so I encourage you to reserve your spot now. Finally, a couple of noteworthy items from the January meeting of the PDA Board of Trustees. First, the board approved the final language replacing the old strategic planning process with a strategic forecasting process. The model is similar to one implemented by the ADA last year and is intended to be much more forward-looking. The structure includes a higher level committee supported by four committees with specified focus areas. Obviously, there will need to be some additional volunteers to fill all of these new positions. So be watching for info on how you can join the team. Along with the PDA Council on Districts, or COD, the board also selected the at-large members of PDA's delegation to the 2024 ADA House of Delegates. Now, a bylaws change meant that this election was just by the board and COD. But the full PDA membership still votes on PDA officers. And that time of year is almost here. And for some reason, I feel like there's a connection between the election and Groundhog Day. Now, there are two very important things you need to do if you intend to vote. Make sure your dues are paid and make sure PDA has your current email on file. That all members in good standing should have received an email that contained instructions for voting in PDA elections and a link to the online ballot. Now, the election results will be emailed to all members on March 1st. Yeah, I've done this before. The only difference is this year are the candidates, and because it's leap year, the dates for voting are the 15th through the 29th. So that's it for this edition of the 411. Hope I don't miss my Super Bowl party because I get stuck in another Groundhog Day time loop.